Hey everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Um, I've had a lot of questions recently uh, while trucking around North America and ETS, uh, honestly, about how do I get my game to look the way it looks, uh, what am I running, etc. Uh, currently, I do have JBX3 installed, but that's not where the richness and the uh, clearness, if you will, the clarity of the image is coming from. The clarity of my image is actually coming from uh, free software that comes with every NVIDIA graphics card. It's baked into it. Uh, some people call it uh, NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA filters or reshade. Um, for me, I just this is a, a color filter. If you're if you're familiar with video editing at all or image editing, um, you'll know you just up and down the contrast, the clarity, uh, the sharpness of things, if you will. And NVIDIA gives us that capability to do right here inside of ATS. There's a way you can do it on your desktop, but I don't like doing that because it affects your entire computer and everything on it, including your desktop and any game you play. And different games need different filters to make them look the best they can. So I'm going to walk you guys through what I have done, and I'll show you my settings. And then we'll do a quick comparison between what does JBX3 look like with those filters off, and then what does it look like with my filters on. Um, and then I'll log out. I'm going to pull JBX out. We're going to go back to standard SCS graphics, zero mods. And I'm going to show you what my reshade filters look like both on and off with standard graphics as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. So in order to access this filter, it's simple key press. Now, the first time you're going to have to come in here and simply enable it. You're going to have a toggle. It'll, the NVIDIA is going to tell you. Um, so we will press Alt Z. Even for your first time, you will press Alt Z. It's going to come up here if you don't have this enabled, and it'll have a little button for you to turn it on. Once you turn it on, you're going to have to restart your game. But the second time you come into your game, you press down Alt and then Z, this pop out's going to happen. Ignore everything here. The only thing you care about is game filters. So if we come in here, and you'll see I've got mine applied here, I'll quickly walk you through what I'm using. There's only four active out of the 22 down here that's available. If you wish to play with these, by all means, knock yourself out. But in order to get your game to look how I have mine, uh, these are the only four you need to worry about. So anything, any video card that supports RTX, which would be a 20 series or later, I believe, um, you could come in here and change the intensity. Uh, this is what I have mine currently set to. The next thing I've adjusted is the brightness and the contrast to kind of get the colors to pop and darks to be darker. Uh, this is where we're at. Contrast at 10, highlights are negative 60. Again, that's darkening everything up a little bit, make the blacks more rich. Uh, same thing with shadows. And then I haven't touched gamma. Um, details, very similar. This helps get rid of the jagged edges that you would see either on the truck itself or like on the building behind me, possibly in the clouds. Uh, so this helps get rid of that. HDR toning is going back in to, and it uh, it affects more of the brightness, how uh, uh, the overall screen brightness, if you will, as well as how bright are your darks. Um, I prefer mine to be rich. Uh, and then bloom. Um, bloom, if you think about a, a light, uh, a flashlight or a light bulb, if you shine it right at something, you're going to have this hot spot in the center. The bloom is how much um, how much auxiliary light are you getting outside of that hot spot. So if, uh, if you shine like a laser pointer at something, right, obviously it's just there. But you shine the flashlight at something, you're going to have the hot spot, and then you're going to have the big glowing effect. And that's what bloom is. Uh, so I keep mine at 15. You can increase or decrease based on your likes. And then uh, color here. Color tint is going to be... Um, as you move this up and down, I don't want to mess with this right now, but as you move it up and down, it'll select different color, uh, um, different color types. So, uh, do you want your color tint more natural and authentic as mine is, or do you want it to fade more into the greens or the reds or the blues? Depends on that feel that you're going for. Um, and then once you've selected that color going into the tint and tick intensity is how much are you going to, um, make that color, uh, the tint color, how much are you going to make that pop? Uh, just like your vehicle, your car windows, right? You might have black tint on it. I know some people do red tint or orange tint or whatever, even your sunglasses. 
Uh, so that's kind of what the tint color is. And then the intensity is how, how much tint do you have in your sunglasses? Um, and then the vibrance, like how much does that color pop? And for me, it's more of a natural tone, um, kind of a cool tone. That's all I've changed. And now this is what the filter looks like on. What does it look like with JBX3 graphics with it off? So all I have to do is click this button here and boom. You can see an immediate shift. And let me uh, do that a couple of times. All right, so do you want this more blurry tone? Um, you can kind of see some of the jagged edges and stuff up here. Or do you like this more clear, cool tone? For me, I much prefer this. It just gives a more, uh, more personality, to, in my opinion. Um, whereas this is more washed out. Um, if you're going for like the vintage look, I suppose this would be okay. <laughs> but if you're going for the clear and photo mode, um, I would go with this. So that's how uh, reshade is done. And now let me show you what this does when we don't have JBX. I'm going to come out to the title screen. I'm going to leave this all in the video so you guys can see. I'm not, I'm not pulling your leg here. Go into my mods. And I'm just going to pick anything that says JBX out. That's all out. Back into my career here. Up. Now, once this loads, we will be on JBX or on uh, SES standard graphics. The only thing that we've changed is simply the 4K trees out of the Steam Workshop, um, which there's not even currently a tree to really look at. So this is standard SES graphics with reshade on. And as you can tell, it's not, it's honestly, it's not too, too bad. Um, you can see a little line there on the truck that I couldn't see before with JBX on, on the, on the hood section. Um, but other than that, the, the reflections and stuff aren't quite as vibrant. Um, but I know some people might even prefer this over JBX and that's, and that's fair. Um, so we press alt Z. What does it look like without my filters on? So, and you can see it goes to more of a, uh, you could notice the tire, right? My tire right here is not as dark. Uh, the paint has lightened up. The greens are not as crisp. Um, and then let's see, is there a cloud? Their skyboxes are uh, they have something to be desired, but but otherwise, I mean, the graphics are not terrible. The blues in my reshade and stuff, and the darks are a lot darker. So it really comes down to your personal preference and what you like. Um, but again, I'll quickly, I'll quickly, not not quickly, I will quickly click through the four settings I have applied here. And then uh, you can use them or not based on your own needs and desires. But uh, to recap, it is color, details, brightness, and RTX dynamic vibrance. That is what you're looking for. And you can play with those until you get them uh, where you like them. So hopefully this has been helpful, guys. Uh, this works in... All video games, I should say, not just ATS and ETS2, but if you're playing like Microsoft Flight Sim, or maybe you're playing Roadcraft, or you're playing something um, that the environment matters, right? If you're playing like NASCAR or Formula One, you, do you care about the graphics? Sure. Do you care about the graphics of the scent? Probably not. You just want to win the race. <laughs> but for these types of sims, even farm sim, right? You're going to be playing for a while. It's comfy. It's casual. Um, and you want to enjoy and live and immerse yourself in the environment, I highly recommend using these NVIDIA Reshade filters. Um, I do it on a by game basis. Just remember those four areas. Uh, look at those four areas, and that will get you 95% of the way there with just about any video game out today. Uh, so hopefully this has been helpful. Um, I didn't want to complicate things. Um, and if you have questions, 
comments, anything like that. If this has been helpful, please leave a comment down below. It does help me out a lot. Um, and if you have any tips or tricks for me, maybe I've missed something, please let me know that as well. I'll uh, more than happily uh, make an updated video. Thank you for your com uh, uh, comments. And, uh, you know, we're all learning here together. Um, so anyway, guys, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, I hope you guys like what you see here. And uh, we will catch you in the next one. Take care, everybody.